Greetings and welcome to Stardew Valley. I have seen a bit of this game, well, on Steam and uh, other YouTubers doing it, and it looked very interesting, so I decided to pick it up as well. And um, yeah, pretty much let's see where this leads us. Uh, from what I've seen, this is pretty much a, um, a mixture of uh, Harvest Moon and Minecraft, and I do like both games very much, so yeah, this is right up my alley. So our name will be Pasta, of course. Um, we have the Pasta Farm, and our favorite thing, well, I could go for Pasta, but uh, hmm, what is our favorite thing? Hmm. Bacon. And yes, we do take a cat instead of a dog. And now, well, character. Oh my. I'm not very good with uh, character um, choosing. Most of the times I will go for random stuff and... Uh, uh, what do we have here? Eh. Too bright. Nee, 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 nee. Eh. Ah, that is more likely. Um, what eye color? Somewhere blue-ish gray? No, that's turquoise. Yeah, that's more likely. Okay. Ah, um, no. Oh my god. Ugh. Hey, that looks like from Final Fantasy. Um. <laughs> nope. 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 Oh my god. Why? I don't ask why there are... Okay. Um, I think we're just taking the standard. Uh, somewhere in... Yeah. That seems more or less right. <laughs> what do we have in terms of shirts? Uh, can't really see much of those pixels. Ah, that looks nice. And pants color? Yeah, dark blue is good. Beards, apparently. Glasses. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, sure, why not? That, that looks quite nice. Okay, let's go for the intro. For my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. There we go. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. And several decades later... Oh, what a nice work environment. Those two guys work... work uh, watching them work. Well, oh. Cameras everywhere. Joja, smile. Okay, yeah, very... Encouraging work environment. That guy ha is having pills. Guy's sleeping. And we are... Shivering in front of the monitor? What are we doing? Seriously, you are being on camera. Don't do that. Yuck. Okay, we we do have a TMP file on the desktop. What What's up with that? Eh, can't do anything. Eh, let's go for the letter. <clears throat> Dear pastor, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. 
The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Pasta Farm Farm. Well, I should have known that there is a farm after that, so, oh well. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Aww. Okay, so we inherited a farm. The pasta farm farm. That sounds like straight out of a song. And we're taking the bus through the hillside, apparently. No snow on those hills, so no mountains. And that bus has a big green arrow on the door. Ah, we are there. Is that bird pooping on that sign now? Oh, he's not. Very good. <coughs> I don't know, whenever I see a bird landing on that, I pretty much think that he will poop on it. And we are greeted by a girl named Robin. Hello, you must be pasta. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Sure. Oh, we don't need to do anything, very good. <laughs> Automated movement. And this place looks like a mess. This is past the farm farm. <laughs> yeah, I think that name is not very <laughs> good. But oh well, we have to live with it now. So, this is past the farm farm. Yep. My reaction entirely. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Mm hmm. So, how do that, does that interior look? And here we are, your new home. We're standing right next to it now. Nah. Oh well. <laughs> and that must be the mayor then. Ah, the new farmer. Yeah, that is Lewis. And we have to say hi to him for, from Grandpa. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everybody's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. How much uh, inhabitants does that town have? So, you're moving into your grandfa uh, grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Okay, I know from uh, the real estate papers what that means. Pretty rustic. Okay. Oh, there is a feed bowl for the dog or a cat there, maybe? Rustic? That's one way to put it. Yeah, exactly. Crusty might be a little more, more apt, though. Crusty. Oh, my. Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Pasta. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Yep. That's advertisement. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, okay, so we can say hello to the townspeople. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Doesn't he have working hours during the day? Why, why does he do that at night? That seems a bit peculiar. Well, he's an old man. Maybe he does need some exercise during the night. Moving on. Well, good luck. 
and they leave me alone with my rustic house. And apparently, apparently we have a rooster. And progress has been saved. Oh, actually it doesn't look too bad in here. Not that rustic. Oh. Oh, I can move stuff around. That is awesome. Okay. Cool. I like that. There's a package here. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Go away. Okay. WASD, shift for run. Uh, inventory, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That seems straightforward. So what is that? Ah, right click to pick up stuff. Parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Well, thank you, Mayor Lewis. That is very kind of you. Yeah, that plant looks better over there. Cool, we can move stuff around. Awesome. Okay, um... So, what, what shall we do? Um... Let's look around this place. Wow, it is overgrown as hell. Oh, that is a... Oh, that is a very nice effect. I like that. A pixelated game and the, the grass moves like that. That is gorgeous. I really like that. That is cool. Oh. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, do we have post? Ah, right click. You don't have any mail. Or mail. American terms here. Okay, so I suppose, yeah, we can... That is a hole. Okay, let's hoe... Ho 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 some stuff. <laughs> okay, um... Right. Apparently we get... What is that fiber from that? Okay. Okay, how about that? Okay, we can do that. Boink that as well. Very good. Do we have some sort of hammer for the stones or with what tool do we have to do that? Pickaxe! That seems easy enough. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm back with the army again. Um... Maybe I should uh, talk about the background of that. So, um... I, I've been with the army uh, for a year. Um, back when I had to go there, which was 2008, we still had the draft in Germany. And um, I was drafted, so I had to go there for nine months. And um, I stayed three months longer to get some money. Um, after basic training, I got a very easy, um, pretty much just an office job, uh, where I didn't have to do much. And that uh, those things uh, I had to do. Bonk, bonk. Ah, there we go. Um, those things I had to do weren't that hard and were done in pretty much like no time. Okay, let's start hoeing the ground. Get some fields going. Um, and yeah, so the rest of the day I pretty much didn't have anything to do. And I got bored and so I started misusing the uh, PC. Um, I couldn't install anything, but I could run emulators. Like, uh, which was the one I I did? Um, oh, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, one of the uh, which was the Visual Boy Advance. And I did play Harvest Moon, uh, among other games. I like the mechanic here uh, better though. Um, it's easier to water your crops and do all the stuff. And I like uh, the visuals of that game. Although um, the bucket and upgrading, speaking with the townsfolk, is reminds me of Harvest Moon quite a lot. But uh, yeah, very, very nice little game so far and um 
Yeah, I think we now have jo to wait. Oh, journal, F, getting started. <clears throat> if you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hole to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the uh, tilled soil to sow, sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Well, we are doing that right now. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay, so we have to wait for that for quite a while. Um, we have done what we could, so let's... This way, I suppose. Yeah. Um, this is town. Okay. Bus stop or Pelican Town. Okay, this is where we came from, but let's take a look anyway. Why is that bus still there since yesterday? The bus to Calico Desert is out of service. Okay. Uh, but he's standing there. Oh, what is that? Out of order. That looks quite interesting. I think that might be worth exploring later. Okay, into town. Oh, what? Oh, where did we get the coal from? Nice! We already have coal. Okay, um, first house, I suppose. Wow, hello, grumpy man. Harvey! It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Hello, Harvey. Nice to see you. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Um, how many people was it? We have to greet 28. So, this town has 28 people living here. Wow. Uh, not very much, apparently. What do we have here? Oh, looks like a park. Um... Let's stay in the downwards part. Do we have some sort of a map? Yes, we do have it. Ha! Ah, okay, this is our farm. Past the farm farm. This... Okay, the bus stop is here and uh, was saying something about Calico Desert. So that must be said desert. There's a wizard's tower, apparently. Um, town square. There are houses here. Yeah, let's stay to these uh, parts first and see. Okay, there is the doctor's office. Who are you then? Caroline. Hello, you must be Pastor, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Okay, um, that's one way to introduce your uh, daughter. Oh, yeah, this must be where the doctor usually is. Oh, we can run around. Cool. What can we do? Is there stuff in the bin? No. What is that? The sign of the vessel. It's her here to comfort those who believe in Yoba. Yoba. Master Yoba. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we have here? Is life sometimes difficult? Do you ever have trouble staying focused? Talk to your doctor about pr Pravoloxa... Oh my god. Pravoloxinone. Pravoloxinone is not for everyone. Side effects may include insomnia, severe anger, uncontrollable swelling of the throat, permanent discoloration of the lips, hair loss, and stroke. In extremely rare cases, one in 500 test subjects experience complete disintegration of one of or more bones. Let us leave this grim place immediately. <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay, what do we have here? Oh, cool. Egg Festival, Louis' birthday, Haley's birthday. Oh, so we do have um, a calendar here. That is nice. Pierre's. So let's go meet Pierre. And who's that? Oh, that's Lee. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Okay. Um, this is the general store. This must be... Welcome to Pierre's. Uh, no, for now, I just want to meet you. Hey, it's Mr. Pastor, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. Hello. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from, uh, from you for a good price. Very good. We have 500 G. Oh, for sale? Backup. Backpack upgrade cost 2,000 G. 24 slots instead of 12. 
Oh, cool. We likey. Okay, let's explore this home, like in every good roleplay game. And this house is huge. I think it's... What the hell does he have is it in his house? An entire church! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm now pretty much sure that Pierre is a Time Lord. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Look at it. It, it was just a small house from the outside, but from the inside it is huge. This must be some sort of TARDIS. What is this then? Altar of Yorba. So that thing is Ma Master Yorba. Okay. <laughs> A few photos, can't do anything here. Kitchen. Oh, we can, we can look at the fridge apparently. Apparently not. Okay, oh, what is that? To Mr. Pierre. It pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your life li livelihood. Jojo Co. has decided to expand to, into Pelican Town. It's too late for, too late for protests. Jojo builders have already broken ground for the new Jojo Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame! As manager of the new Jojo Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. Wait to start at 5G an hour. I look forward to seeing you, your resume. I don't know the minimum wage around here, but that seems... incredibly cheap. Why, well, Mr. Morris, manager, Pelican Town, Jojo Mart. And I don't like him already. Okay. So, I am... Oh, there is a girl with green hair. Hello there. Um, hello? Okay, we can't talk to her. Then, you're not good enough friends with Pierre or Caroline to enter their bedroom. Kikati? <laughs> okay, uh, to enter her bedroom. Ahem. <coughs> Giggity indeed. Okay, can we talk to her? Nope. Oh, that must be Abigail then. Hello. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old, old farm. Yeah, hello. I am I'm the new one. And you're standing in my way. Ah, thankfully she's moving again and... Aww, I can't enter. Alright, I'm... Apparently we are like a vampire. You can't enter unless invited. Okay, anyways, um, looking on the clock, I would say we end the first episode here. Um, I will record more because I am now very intrigued to meet other fancy people. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment and subscribe. And I certainly hope to see you next time as well. Until then, yours faithfully, The Pestafarian.